of Jim Crow laws. I don't think I understood the racism also in the present. In second grade, we were separated during a civil rights unit into POC and white kids. In third grade, my friend told me she was scared of black men. In third grade, I learned every president was white. In third grade, we were talking about Martin Luther King Jr. I asked my mom about him, and she said, look him up. There's way more than what the teacher was telling us. I could only teach you so much because black history is almost over. In fourth grade, a kid threw a swastika on my desk. The teacher just didn't seem to care. Kids told me I didn't look Jewish enough. People started calling me whitewashed. That really changed my perception of race. I live, I live in a place with not a lot of mixed people, so it was hard to find a group to fit in. I honestly didn't realize I was different. I thought everyone did what our family did. I realized I was treated differently, even though people said we were treated the same. I was mistaken for the only other Asian in my class. They looked very different than me, but the teacher said we looked alike. When I was young, my parents would say something. I didn't know it was racist at the time, but then I realized it was. At 12 years old, I understood I could walk with a hoodie on and a pack of skills in my pocket in my own neighborhood, and a man could shoot me dead and not answer for his crime. My family went on a road trip. We stopped at a store, and my mother told me, No me hablas en español aquí. Don't speak Spanish. Why not? Podría ser peligroso. I remember being terrified to go in that store. I realized how scary it is to be a BIPOC person. Racism is judging others by appearance for no reason, and then being a jerk about it. Racism can be a big destructive act, but it can also be so small it goes unnoticed. It's a cruel and ugly disease that fills people with hate. COVID is a disease. Racism is a machine that never ran out of power. It hurts me physically. It's harsh words, rude gestures, microaggressions that are too much work to explain. Ignorance, fear, and intimidation. An unavoidable topic. The inability to see from another person's perspective. Racism is like gray clouds over me and other people of color. It is overwhelming sometimes. Other times you just forget it's there, but it always looms over. When you're black, you understand the life you live was programmed to be this whole with no way to win according to the rules of this country. I can't walk down the street and not be mistaken for a criminal. I can't drive anywhere in this land as a free because when the sun goes down, people with white skin find people with my skin and string their bodies from a tree. Racism looks like innocent people being killed by white people. Racism looks like America, one group benefiting from laws that dehumanize others, insisting they're different. Despite 99.9% .9 of their genes being the same, it feels like everyone's against you. In my day-to-day, -day, racism is alienation, making me feel awkward or put on the spot. No matter how I present myself or how hard I try to fit in, I will never be me. Racism looks like humans who don't see humans as equal. Sounds like names and jokes so used to act cool or harm others. Feel like stereotypes that someone's ethnicity makes them less smart, less beautiful, less worthy. It sounds like white leaders trying to rewrite history to make it seem we have no mistakes to correct or reparations to pay. Something I usually hear when someone says, I'm not racist, but... You never know what you're saying. I'm a biracial girl. My parents are divorced. My brother is special needs. I would love to tell you who I am, but I kind of want to keep it private. I'm from...
What you might not know about me is that I'm Jewish. That I like to dance. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. That I love the rain. I'm, I'm dreamy. dreamy. Loud, weird, weird sometimes. sometimes. I'm trying to find myself. I stand for people being treated fairly. I respect people no matter who they are. I stand for my family, my community, and the people I care for. I stand, I stand for, for equality, equality of all kinds. I stand just to listen, since I know I don't know things. I try to live a life that doesn't hurt other people, but also a life I enjoy. There's always a problem, so you might as well enjoy life as you can. I can, I can detail, detail everything about me, but that doesn't tell you who I am. I'm a party. <laughs> Take all those things away, and I'd still be here. Take away my voice, and I am nothing. Our generation has the biggest voice, because we see what's wrong in the world, and we're going to change it. Welcome to the State of the Students.